So we learn about money when we're little kids. Okay, great. And we learn about it from our parents. No big surprise there. But now that's where everything starts to get different. Because money, the very first thing you learn about money, very first pre-verbal thing you learn about money is it's taboo and we don't talk about it. Absolutely not. It is not open for discussion. And the thing is that when you learn about something and nobody talks about it, your opinions about it don't get revised. You got an example? Uh, yeah. Go for it. Okay. So when I was a little kid, and I want you to understand about this little kid thinking. This is the thing that's crucial. Is that little kid thinking is brilliant, but not necessarily smart. Okay? And I'll explain. So I was little, I was about five, and we moved to Los Angeles, California. Downtown LA, big red neon sign said, Jesus saves. And in my five-year-old brilliance, I decided it was a bank. <laughs> <laughs> and their bank was so cool that Jesus saved it. <laughs> and that every Sunday, after he collected all the money, Jesus went to that bank and put it in the night <laughs> It was cool. And I just felt so smart and so brilliant. And I didn't tell anybody because I'm just so cool. And then when I'm about eight or nine, I found out that it indeed was not a bank. My goodness. And now I'm not telling anybody because I do not want to look like a doofus. Now, it says something interesting about my family that Jesus saves in my brain went right to money. And it has something to do with me ending up as an accountant, I think. But the part that's important is that's brilliant little kid thinking. That's how little kids think. And the problem is that we're all still stuck with that little kid thinking in our heads. 